Good morning and welcome to Tuesday the 15th of December. Well, only 10 days to go now till Christmas and there's lots going on. Today is no different. Um, today is the International Tea Day, the International Cupcake Day and also the Wear Your Pearls Day today. Um, for those who are experienced cat herders, uh, used to herding cats, it's the International Cat Herding Day as well. So um, plenty of things going on today on Awareness Days. Um, so let's get together. Let's grab a cup of tea and a cupcake and sit down. Ladies wearing your pearls. And let's look at what the Bible says about people who need to herd cats. Uh, it's got advice on everything that's important in life as the Bible. And so this morning is no exception. So let's dive into the Bible now. So. We'll start off uh, just with a reminder that if you want to follow today's readings, then have a look at the link just below the screen here and you can follow along with us. Welcome to morning prayer. Let's begin. So we start with a preparation reading, which goes like this. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouths are going to proclaim your praise. Reveal amongst us the light of your presence that we may behold your power and your glory. Amen. Now we're going to jump straight into a psalm, Psalm 70. Uh, and Psalm 70 runs like this. O oh God, make speed to save me. O oh Lord, make haste to help me. Let those who seek my life be put to shame and confusion. Let them be turned back and disgraced. Those who would wish me evil. Let those who mock and deride me turn back because of their shame. But let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say, always, great is the Lord. As for me, I'm poor and needy. Come to me quickly, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, don't delay. And there's a prayer from the heart, if ever I heard one. Um, and talking of prayers, um, our morning prayer, our opening prayer is, the night has passed and the day lies open before us. So let's pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Now we're going to have a Bible reading from 1 Thessalonians. It's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Uh, and we're going to jump in at verse 12 and read till the end. And it goes like this. But we appeal to you, brothers and sisters, to respect those who labour among you and have charge of you in the Lord and admonish you. Esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. And we urge you, beloved, to admonish the idlers, encourage the faint hearted. Help the weak. Be patient with all of them. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise the words of prophets, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from what is evil. And may the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. That's how 
that chapter and the book ends. So there's so much in that passage that we could unpack. And actually, I don't I don't know that there's much to add to that really this morning in terms of thoughts. Um because it 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 wraps it just wraps it all up and expresses so much about our day and the challenges of our day and the opportunities of our day in those few verses um, and what we're called to, but what we're equipped to as well. So there it says, don't quench the Holy Spirit. And that's a good starter is to really invite the Holy Spirit into our lives and ask for more of God and for less of us. And then as we do that, things start to become enabled in our lives like rejoicing always and praying continually and giving thanks in all circumstances. And then um, just uh, wonderful statements like holding fast to that that's good and abstaining from every form of evil. And then if when as we enable the Holy Spirit to work through our lives and to achieve those things, then we come to know what it really means to you know the, the, the peace of God that will sanctify you, will make you holy, will clear you, clean you up entirely so you can be kept sound and blameless. It's about being credible and authentic, essentially, is another way of putting it. Um, until Jesus comes again. Well, we, this is the season where we think about Jesus coming. This is the season where we think about his arrival and what that means. Emmanuel, God with us. So as we do that this Christmas season, let's think about these words of encouragement and of teaching and of challenge in First Thessalonians chapter 5. Okay, uh, now we're going to come to prayer. And as we pray, going to think about, um, you know, a, a year really of where there's been a global response, a coordinated global response to the challenge of COVID that's really just come out of nowhere at the beginning of the year and has completely dominated 2020. And as we move to 2021, we want to pray for a similar global action on climate change, which is affecting as many, probably more people taking lives from more people as some areas are deluged in famine and others are swamped with flooding um, in, and extremes, weather extremes, which you know what, lots about. So there's plenty to pray about. And to help us today, we're going to be using um, prayers from a little calendar that came through the post this week from Tear Fund. Let's look at that. From Tear Fund. There they are. Um, an excellent organisation. And um, in December, the little calendar suggests praying for uh, Lydia and her nieces who are based in Thailand. Uh, sorry, Nigeria. Nigeria. And um, uh, it's somewhere I've been and I've met people there and um, so share passion for the country. So let's pray. Father God, we just thank you for this year, which has been a year that's actually taught us an awful lot about ourselves, about the routines we take for granted, and about others as well. It's taught us to really value our health and uh, reminds us of what's important. And so we come to prayer because you are important and we want to pray um, for our world this morning. We want to pray uh, about the coronavirus, which has reminded us of the fragility of life and underlined our dependence on you. We want to pray about the climate crisis as one year moves to another, as the vaccine is on the horizon and starting to be dispensed. Um, our minds turn to uh, the challenges uh, that are in some senses even greater. We just pray about uh, the, the, the this even greater disruption to our planet and our people about the weather patterns that are changing causing more and more people to go hungry we want to pray at the same time for communities around the world that continue to suffer amid the conflict as well as the natural disaster that's going on at the moment jesus you came to 
bring restoration. And so we fix our eyes on you. Thank you that you are able to do immeasurably more than all we could ask or imagine. So this year, we commit to praying for a breakthrough as we move into this new year in the climate crisis and and help from us and from others for those who are living in extreme poverty. Amen. And in the quiet now, just offer your own prayers uh, for today and for this week and for this season of Christmas that we're moving through. And now we're going to pray the collect together. And it goes like this. O Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you, grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. That at, this, that at your second coming to judge the world, we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. Amen. And now that all too familiar part, and yet it's fresh every time we say it, the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray. Father God, we um, come before you and say together, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Okay, in conclusion, we say, may the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Let's bless the Lord. So let's enjoy today. Uh, God go with you and have a great day. Okay, thanks very much for joining and see you all again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>